Okay. Nope. I want this. Nope. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today there's a new FNAF game, and this it has been a long time since I've said there's a new FNAF game more than once in the same year. But for whatever reason, the year of 2023 is the year of FNAF. It'll go down in history as the year of FNAF. And not only is there a new FNAF game, but it's like Probably the game I'm most excited about. Like, Ruin was great, and it turned out really good. I didn't have the highest of expectations for it. Really enjoyed it. But if there is a FNAF game in this modern era of the franchise that I've really enjoyed and really looked forward to seeing a sequel of, it's, it's Help Wanted. Uh, the original FNAF VR did such cool things. Um, the minigame format really felt appropriate to the, the FNAF style. And, and, of course, because it's in VR, the scares are amplified to like the nth degree. And so this idea of putting you in the world of FNAF truly is embodied by these games in a way that I don't think anything else has been. Uh, so we have ourselves Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, which is, looks incredible, looks really scary. I don't know what to expect. Ash, are, are you gonna be able to see what I'm looking at or am I just gonna be immersed in this thing the whole time? So I have your signal outputted onto my computer. Okay. So I'll be able to experience this with you, but not as exciting as you are experiencing it. Okay, yeah. Uh, th and just so you know, dear Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, I don't, <laughs> Steel Wool, I guess, I don't know who I'm saying this to. I bought a PSVR 2 just for you guys. So this is also my first experience with this guy, which looks a lot like the original. Looks like it has a, a bit more like adjustment features on the on the side, which is nice. I remember the PSVR being a lower quality like visual setup than some of the other VR headsets out there, but it was one of the more comfortable ones uh, in that initial batch. So I'm curious how this one's gonna perform. Um, have you tested this guy out? Ash, how's it work? I have, it's, it's really cool. Is it? Yes, it really is. Oh, that's great, okay. So we got this hooked up and then we downloaded the Drums Rock demo. <laughs> drums Rock, is that, is that like the generic version of Beat Saber or something? <laughs> yeah, it's like drums, <laughs> but there's bats. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah. Nice. Very fun. Bats? They, bats. They do rock. They do rock. That, that do, when I think of rock music and drums, I think bats for sure. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so this is my first experience in a lot of things. We're doing Help Wanted 2, we're doing PSVR, uh, you know, and I, I don't want to waste too much time on this one, honestly. I just want to hop into it. Just a quick reminder, uh, the Northern Lights collection of uh, Theoryware is available right now. So if you want to be nice and warm and snuggly this winter season, we got stuff like that. We got a lot of things that are full of bright colors inspired by the Aurora Borealis, uh, including a really awesome suitcase if you're looking to upgrade your uh, carry-on case game. Uh, it's kind of the best of all worlds when it comes to luggage. Uh, as someone who has traveled a lot, like I really love it as uh, all the features that it has. And then um, also a really cool blazer in case you're looking to get kind of dressed up for the holidays. Uh, anyway, just a friendly reminder that that's out there. Um, but now, like I'm just, should we hop into this? Should we just go? I think we should just go. Just go. I will say they've definitely taken a page out of the, the Oculus game because these are very similar to the Rift controls as opposed to the weird like glow wands that the, that the PSVR used to have. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was like the sticks with the, the glowing bubbles on top made you feel like an air traffic controller. Um, so yeah, let me strap it, let me take off my, let me take off my Christmas crown because uh, we're doing some Christmas festivities here in the office today. Let me take off my Christmas crown and uh, jack into the system. Oh, it's still wired. Oh, I was wondering if they would do uh, wireless because of Oculus, but I guess not. So, okay, here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, it's got pass through. Oh yeah, I could, so I could see you guys. Hey, hi, I can see, you. wow. And the pass through is actually really great. So for those of you who don't know pass through when you're talking about VR headsets is the cameras on the front, the front facing cameras that allow me to see the world around me without running into things, right? So like here, I know that there's a light up here. Boop, boop, boop. Right here, I know that I'm getting close to the camera. Like right here, I know I'm gonna touch it, which is awesome. Um, I did a PS, or I, I did a VR demo a couple years ago at a big uh, VR convention. And it was without question one of the coolest VR experiences that I ever had, where they put everyone into headsets 
and they had mapped out the space so effectively with this pass-through technology that you were able to run through literally like a laser tag zone or like a paintball course and run and slide and duck behind things and shoot at each other like overhead and things like that without needing to take off the headset, but you were fully immersed in the game. It was one of the coolest experience ever. And as always, my friends, always practice safe uh, joy-conning, or in this case, PSVRing. Okay, here we go. Oh, buddy. Oh, steel wool, hey. All right, bud, let's see what you got. I'm ready for you. Ooh, there's an end user license agreement. Please ensure you stay hydrated and take breaks. Really, is this, is this legit? This is legit. <laughs> okay. Because yeah, it's, it's FNAF, right? And the whole shtick of the first FNAF VR game was there was a fake end user license agreement where it's like, you agree that your digital consciousness is going to get taken over. I am a legal age. What? Please, okay. Wow, the game contains jump scares. So this is like a, hey, if you die from a jump scare, you are good. I like that it says stay hydrated. Thanks, stay hydrated, bot. Take regular breaks. It's designed to be frightening. It contains gameplay where the player or audience is surprised. It's, a, it's commonly known as a jump scare. You assume the risk of frightening gameplay. It's important that you consider this. Okay. Wow. That, like this is, this is a legitimate end user license agreement. Okay. Virtual goods. Wow, this is long. I'm going to have to read this for the lore, aren't I? Not, not for my own personal safety, obviously. You know, not, not for my own sanity, my own well-being, but just because there might be lore hidden inside. Okay, it contains loud noises. Hold your controller security. Did it. Don't hit anything. Thank you, game. I will do my best. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> forgot how intense VR is. It has been a long time. Wow. So already you could just hear, I'm, I'm going to keep one of these out just so I can hear myself talk. The sound canceling in, in these headphones is actually fantastic. Like, I, I don't know if I've been say, speaking too loudly because I'm having a harder time hearing myself than usually, but like, oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh, this is the worst. I forgot how scary this is. And now they're even like better at their job. Oh boy, this is gonna be intense. I'm nervous, man. Oh, VR horror games. Like at this point, I feel like I'm pretty desensitized to a lot of like jump scares and horror games and the, because I, I've been doing it for a long time. I mean, played a lot. I've seen basically everything you can do. VR just hits in a, such a different way. Already, and, and Ash, tell me if you can sense this, right? But you can sense the like, the the power differential here of how big they are relative to me the fact that i'm like so small in frame relative to them is already so intimidating and look at look at ugh, you're just disgusting you are horrific you are hor i don't know people like you as an animatronic i hate you you're the worst baby look at this look at this this is disgusting and now she's going to have her stomach claw and it's going to like rip out or something Got evil cupcake. Can you tell though that like the power dynamic is that communicating through what you're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Oh, the details. It's awesome to see them in person, and I'm assuming that this is kind of more to like a realistic scale that they would be in the universe of the games, which shows you, hey, a kid could fit into that stomach right there, which is nuts. Oh, you can see inside her. T oh, look at her teeth. Oh, look at that. You got the. Oh yeah, you got the the old. You got like the entered like sister location style like tubing that goes in there, but it's got those like spiky teeth. Oh, crazy. Oh, this is awesome already. Steel Wool, I think like when it comes to their strengths as game designers already, like this is the world that they come from and they play with other people. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Oh boy. All right, welcome. Fazbear. Fazbear Entertainment is offering a new on-the-job training position for a future pizza professional. 
We would love to give you more details, but for legal reasons, are unable to without a signed non-disclosure agreement. Oh, I get another. Fazbear Entertainment acknowledges that more passport paperwork. conditions have not been ideal. Hey. However, we can provide you with a 100% safety intention guarantee. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> to accept Trust the this position, purple. press or say one. One. We didn't quite get that, <laughs> but we know what you intended. I was gonna say, there's not audio Welcome recognition. To the team. Your first day starts now. Okay. Okay. Great. A little bit different than the roller coaster ride at the beginning. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, new employee. There's so much work to be done. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Use that touchscreen computer. Oh, this is nuts. Okay. Open the files and pick a task. All right, where would you like to start? Okay, so the choice is yours. So it's like a Scooby-Doo healthy animation mix. And that's just gonna keep replaying. Oh, hi, new employee. There's so much, okay, so that's repeating. Ooh, Mystic Hippo over there. Oh, I've got a Faz coin. These were collectibles from, oh, hello. Thank you. It's awesome, just exploding my hand, that's fine. What else do we got? Can I teleport over? Because in the previous game, there was like the teleport over. Can I, I guess I gotta use this thing. But here, just get a sense of my surroundings. So over there, we've got a very familiar looking uh, puzzle mechanic uh, that will probably end up using the Faz wrench, which again, immediately connects us back to Security Breach, uh, specifically Ruin, uh, but like the whole Pizzaplex era. Uh, we have a door over there that's very reminiscent of FNAF 6. Uh, we did theories about how that like crisscross diamond steel pattern is the doors that they used in FNAF 6 to, to lock out all the, to lock in all the animatronics and set the pizza place on fire. We've got a cupcake claw game. Uh, we don't have a prize counter behind us this time, but it looks like we have like a pizza restaurant or kind of like a, a, a an eatery. Looks like we've got a coin machine over there, like you would in a typical arcade. And then Mystic Hippo. That's the thing that's uh, exclusive to this one, right, Ash? Okay. TVs where spooky stuff might happen. And, oh, I, okay, so I can teleport around. So if I go here, there, whoa, jeez. Just hop on over. Time to shine. Trophy earned. All right. I won a thing by push, pushing a button and activating nothing. Nothing there. Okay, that's fine. Time to shine. Well, I got, okay. I uh, got a change machine. Okay, got another coin. Cool. Anything? Nope. All right. There's a picture here on the wall. Like a poster, but it's empty. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be a collectible. Anything in our little gumball machine? No, nothing there. All right. First aid station. Good to know. Teleport over here. Got another coin. Collecting coins left and right. So this will probably be another kind of like collectible. Behind here, we have the Fall Fest. It's interesting, the VR games are leaning into Fall Fest. So um, Fall Fest was a big DLC part of the original Help Wanted. Um, like Fall Fest 1983 was a thing that was repeated a lot of times as a theme. We also have the same animation that's coming out of the, this is from, the uh, Fazbear and Friends on Tour, which were the teasers that were released, that Steel Wool released in anticipation of Security Breach. So you see them really going back to this kind of Hanna-Barbera era of animatronics. And that one showed, showed like the earliest eras of the franchise with them getting together. So it's interesting that here, Freddy's Cupcake Bonanza is, is kind of tied to that artistic style from that specific set of promotions. Uh, games are off right now, so that's good to know. Nothing up there. Let's hop over here. So, okay, we've got our Faz Wrench game. Anything interesting here? Let me let me just play with this battery with the open anodes and cathodes. That's fine. Okay, nothing there yet. So eventually, we'll probably need to get that. Not yours, Mike. I know. I felt it. I felt it whole. Here, I can get it. Will you grab it? Thanks, yes. That. Yep. Here, let's hop over to Pizza Corner, and then we'll hop into some games. Okay. Oh, another coin. All right, so we're, we're finding a lot of coins. That's exciting. Let's eat. A lot of spooky looking arcade games over there. I wonder if I'll get to play those. I'm excited about potentially that. And now, all right, let's do some tasks, shall we? Oh, wait, here's one more. 
before we move on. What's this guy? Okay, so we've gotten a lot of Faz coins. I probably should look at the textures of those Faz coins more, because I remember in the first VR game, they say uh, they said Fazbear Entertainment established 1983, which was one of the first kind of big confirmations that we had of the restaurant, or like the the kind of wider universe being established in 1983, or like a solid date of Fazbear as a corporate entity, not just Fred Bear's Family Diner, but Fazbear in 1983. So we know that they've hidden lore in that place before, and you're seeing that these posters are going to be collectibles. I'm wondering if it's going to be like Mario style where we can hop into mini games through the posters or something. Anyway, okay, here we go. Okay, we've got the staff only, cold storage. We've got food prep, L chips, backstage. So this is like our, our choose mechanic from the first game. Arts and crafts daycare, and we'll unlock more as we go on. Fazcade, ooh, Bonkabon and Fazer Blast, which we saw in the trailers. Ticket booth, carousel. Sister location, Ballora Gallery. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm curious about cold storage. Birthday time, Glam Freddy. Glam Freddy, <laughs> not not Glam Rock. Just Glam Freddy requires assistance, delivering a very special ice cream cake. Okay, sure. <laughs> that sounds, sounds like fun. I like ice cream cake. Uh, find and recover Jimmy's birthday cake from Freddy's chest cavity. Huh. Oh great. Find and recover Jimmy's birthday cake. I like that it, okay, so we've established that Jimmy is a thing. Are you sure it's not Jeremy? Anyone down here? No, okay. I'm just so paranoid. VR man, it hits, it hits hard. Oh God, just right. Hello? Hello. Is someone there? Yes. My ocular fluids have crystallized. I am unable to process your appearance. Although we have just met, I know I am in good hands. After all, you are a Fazbear technician, are you not? I am, yes. Please retrieve little Jimmy's birthday cake. It's Timmy. And place it on the birthday card. <laughs> However, I must warn you, due to extreme temperature fluctuations, I am not quite myself at the moment. <laughs> Great. Do be careful. Okay. Thanks, Superstar. Uh, oh, okay. So here's, here's Timmy's cake. No, no, not that cake. Ooh. Little Jimmy's cake is trapped inside my stomach hatch. Oh. Little Jimmy would know the difference. I, I'm not little Jimmy, man. I'm just observing. Can I grab anything else? Timmy's cake. Okay. So what do you need me to do, Freddy? In the past game, you told me what I was supposed to do. What is, what is this trying to tell me here? Faz? <laughs> what, what are my tools? I've got... What, what are you supposed to be? You look like a kazoo. Or like a noisemaker, like a woo woo woo. What is this? Like a measuring tape? Okay, I don't know what that is. That's a battery. This is a stamp, so we got various stamps. Circle, square, triangle. And there's a star. Oh, okay, wait. Star thing. Okay, this is the star thing with a little anode here. And it goes on to star thing. Nope, this is de-thawing. Do you want me to thaw you? What is this? This is, I guess I can thaw you. I feel like this is trying to tell me this guy goes on to this guy. <laughs> star thing goes to star thing. I don't know. Okay, I guess I have to thaw you, bud. Here, I'm gonna heat you up. Can I, nope, can I heat you? Heat, go, activate. Activate, turn, 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 there we go, okay. So now, ooh, hello. Okay, just gonna do it gently, I don't wanna overheat one of your sides. Uh, is it just me or is the room getting hotter? <laughs> it's not just you, Freddy. There you go, there you go, bud, okay. So you're good, so so it, it presumably square goes in square. Oh God, jeez. <laughs> so good, and then this one, circle goes in circle. Okay. All right. So you, 
go in here? It, it, I mean, this thing's over here. All right, here. So now we're getting, it, it, uh, it's also worth noting, we are getting a good sense of what the, the endoskeletons look like for Glamrock Freddy, which is valuable and useful. Okay. Hold up. I gotta, I gotta figure out the control still. Okay, so it's A. Oh, hello. I don't like your arms moving like that, bud. But I don't, I don't like your arms moving like that, okay? This goes there. Okay, hey, okay. So we were supposed to put it there. Battery out. Bad battery. Boop. Good battery. Boop. Okay, done. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Nope. Nope. Okay, battery's on fire. I should probably cool it. You want me to cool it? You want me to cool this? Hot battery. Hot battery. Cool battery. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is totally how this large animatronic would work. With just a, a small AA battery. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, didn't you know you could power this amount of technology with just a, a simple, simple battery? All right. Uh, his eyes out, so eyes out. <laughs> He's like those, those people who have the like, ability to pop out their own eyes, like out of their eye sockets a little bit, whoop, whoop, there you go. Okay, so I, I want both eyes at once. Boop, hello. Just gonna put them on this little birthday tray here. Delicious, and we're gonna go boop the nose. Boop. Oh God, jeez. Of course, thanks, thanks, Ian. Oh, don't bite me. <laughs> am, I, am I just supposed to reach in and do this? <laughs> what do you want, game? Here. Oh my god, what the heck? Why? Why did you kill me? No! No! <laughs> game over. Oh, good. We're, oh! What the, the. I like that the hanging wires are giving me more jump scares than anything else. Hello. Don't love that. Okay, hi. Can I grab you? I cannot. Okay, I didn't know if there was something hidden with you. Oh, here, let's retry that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get in the hang of this. Hey, bud. All right. Once again, I am stuck. It is quite embarrassing. It's interesting that he knows. So, I'm just going to call out the fact that, like, the fact that he is aware. Is it just me or is the room getting hotter? No, no, not that cake. Little Jimmy's cake is trapped inside my stomach hatch. No, Little Jimmy, Jimmy would know the difference. Little Jimmy would know the difference. So anyway, so it's so the fact that he has already seen this happen and is commenting on it already shows us something about the awareness of this game, I guess, or the awareness of the character. I don't know if that's meaningful in any way, shape, or form, but it's something that's worth noting. There you go. We're going to want to cool this off. Right here. So ready to go. Boop. Okay. Boop. 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 There you go. Boop. Cool. Great. Okay, he's going to jump scare me. After I do this. Pop. Okay, and we're going to go boop with the nose. Okay, there he is. Okay, so now press the button. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez! Oh, so the button lights up. I thought, okay. Because the first time he started chomping after I kind of let it sit there for a second. Okay, we got this now. Now we know how it works. Cool. How many birthdays does little Jimmy have? <laughs> Perhaps they are different Jimmys. So that's interesting, right? It's one of those things where I'm wondering. Is it just me or... Is the room getting hotter? If this is similar, or if this is like some sort of training for, again, like the mimic. We got a little bit of hint of this in the trailer where the mimic might be learning or doing something from this game. Um, where, hey, this information that we're delivering to the system is getting uploaded into some other files where the robots and the Mimic and, and the AI could be learning from our behavior. So I'm wondering if these are actual real tasks or if we're just training the system in some way. Okay, eyes out. 
Boop. Boop nose. Don't scare. Okay, wait for the red. Okay. Uh, stomach out. Just pull it up. Pull it out. Sure. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> that, that came off very effectively. It does not say prototype on there, so I'm just going to put that there. I was just curious. Oh. No! <laughs> well, there, there goes your stomach. Hopefully you don't need that anymore, bud. Sorry about that. Uh, remove. Okay, remove. Okay, open and remove cake. So can I open these just manually? I cannot. Should I press the very obvious red button? I guess. Okay, oh, hello. Yep, it's, okay, it's getting hot. Okay, getting hot, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, getting hot, okay, cool the wires. Cool the wires, cool the wires. Cool the wires, okay. Now we got it. <laughs> Blast! Cool. Continue cooling the wires. Continue cooling the wires. Cool the wires. Cool the wires. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like really strong spring lock minigame vibes from Sister Location. Okay, there's Jimmy's cake. It is a delicious ice cream cake. Oh, yeah, buddy. Or so I've been told. I cannot taste. <laughs> I cannot taste. Okay, there you go. I've gotten it. Now what? Do you want me to put in Timmy's cake? I've, I've, I, oh, do you want me to, you want it in here? Sorry, I have to move your eyeballs. There? No? What's this? What? Oh no! I am receiving a cake removal alert. What? Please find something of suitable size to replace. There you go. Something of suitable size Good to replace. Good job. You are my superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you, you know what? You're not so bad yourself, Freddy. Oh, hello. Purple balloon. I'm noticing the balloons just hanging out. Um, pay attention to the colors. Also interesting noting that it's the old FNAF 1 poster back here. Strange. Uh, okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> just jam. There it is. Hello. Oh, I got a Glam Freddy. All right. Can't get another one. I can't push it hard enough. All right. I got a Glam Freddy. So we did that one. Great. Achievement unlocked. Good for me. I can't grab the balloon. All right. Boop. One job done. Nailed it. It only took me 500 tries. So good. Anything else? Anything change? Any glitchy bunny animatronics that looking to attack me? One thing we didn't test out before. I'm assuming this gives us a model of everyone. <laughs> Great, spooky lighting and all. Oh, and he's and he's oh, and you have seen enough of him as determined with them. Please do not touch. Cool. Okay, so that's at some point we're probably gonna want to touch those things. All right. And since most FNAF games have like a, a bad ending. Like, actually, like, most of them end in a bad way. I would assume that maybe we are absorbed into the Mimic AI, and that is our, our end. Uh, hey, since we did a good job with this one, let's do first aid with Pig Patch. Learn common medical procedures from the safety of a simulated pizza place training booth. Great. So these are all tutorials. Use the scanner gun to see what's wrong with Helpy. Okay, scanner gun. Unfortunately, there's going to be more to that game than just that, but sure. Welcome to First Aid. This training session simulates actual emergency situations you will encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. The state-of-the-art Fazbear First Aid Station comes equipped with the finest life-saving tools. Your goal is simple. Save the patient, avoid lawsuits, and give the patient a candy. <laughs> Fazbear Entertainment Sounds like a good goal. believes in the sink or swim training method. Medical attention begins in three, oh no. Oh two, no. I've already one. lost it. Oh no, I'm so sorry. The patient is suffering from ball pit accident. <laughs> Avoid undue patient Snap stress. According to comment cards, patient outbursts bother pizza place guests. Okay. I'm just curious. So we got lemon, five star lemon bar, NDA mint. <laughs> NDA mint, okay. There's no timer, Mick. Okay, his temperature is looks like it might slowly be dropping. I'm curious if there's anything at the bottom of this candy bowl. There is not. Okay, good to know. Since we found so many coins so far, I'm just wondering if there's any coins in and around this world here. Uh, not really. Not really. We've got another laser gun. That's exciting. 
got cheek in the in the corner there. What's this? That's beyond the the realm of me touching it. Get. Get well soon, with like the the just crazy. Oh, that's interesting. So it's Helpy running away from a burning down building, back there. So you got Helpy, like a, just a janky drawing of Helpy running out of there. Huh, of a burning down pizzeria. This is okay. This is me overthinking things, admittedly, but get well soon. And also, look at how bad everything's drawn. Get well soon. We have a kid holding a balloon out to a yellow kid. Get well soon. And you have dead helpy with some kids. And you have get well soon. You have scrap baby. Get, I like that it's crossed out well. Get soon. Cl scrap baby's going to get you. Get, get you soon. So... Immediately off the bat here, one of the things that comes to mind. So the fact that they know what Scrap Baby is and is drawing it is important because it says it, it immediately connects whatever this is, whatever this world is, whatever VR, real world, training, whatever this is, it connects us to FNAF 6. Because the only way that anyone would know Scrap Baby with the claw on her hand is a connection to the FNAF 6 pizzeria, which was fake. You know, which was this like simulated pizzeria experience meant to lure these things in. She was never put on display. She was never that. So it means that she was part of the plan to burn it down. That also connects to this right here, where Helpy seems to be running away from the burning down FNAF 6 location. A, a, a burning location, but the fact that Helpy's leaving is interesting. It also connects us back to the idea of Helpy in FNAF Ruin is part of the Mimic program, right? He is the embodiment of the Mimic program. He, he looks friendly on the surface, but then every once in a while he like glitches in. He's like, ah, I'm going to take over you and I'm going to insert an ocular implant or whatever. So I'm wondering if what this is trying to tell us, and again, the game will show us more as we go on, but the fact that it's Helpy specifically running away, I'm wondering if Helpy was the vehicle, like the AI vehicle or like the, the, the artificial intelligence vehicle that allowed the Mimic program to, to learn and grow and ultimately leave and escape the Pizzaplex. That's why it knows about Scrap Baby. That's why we see it running away from a building that is running down. It's showing that the reason, it, the reason that Security Breach and Help Wanted and all these other things exist in the universe is because Helpy and this AI program are able to live on past that date because it was able to leave. Just pure speculation, this is minigame two, but already these pictures are telling you a lot. It's also worth noting, the last thing I was going to call out about this, is how, bo how badly they're colored, which seems, again, if the post-it room from Security Breach, again, another Steel Wool game, the post-it room showed an AI learning, wh whether it's Robot Gregory, whether it's Robot Vanessa, whether it's you know, some other robot, whether it's just the Mimic a as a robot entity, whatever it is, it showed it learning from z ones and zeros to rudimentary drawings to eventually being able to put together simple sentences and, and write co coherently, right? And here, what we have is the AI, again, learning to draw, or whatever this kind of robot program, robot mind, learning to color, right? I, I, I know this, too, because I've watched Ollie. <laughs> As, as kind of like, a hu you know, humans learn in the same way robots do in a lot of ways at this point. You know, learning with rudimentary drawings, learning with like very simple shapes, badly colored, and then bit by bit they get better and better and better. And so I'm wondering if these were actually drawn by, you know, a robot or the AI rather than just your normal kids' drawings. Enough about lore speculation. I'm supposed to do something with this guy. I'm supposed to scan him. Here, <laughs> I'll do this. I swear I'm going to play the game. There's just a lot here. And as we've seen, with this, these games, okay, there we go. As we've seen with these games, we know that that Steel Wool really likes to hide lore in in the world building and in the environmental design. Uh, okay, so we need a thermometer, which is here, which is here. Okay, thermometer. Boop. Sprinkle him with candy. Sprinkle him with vitamins. Sprinkle him with. Happy Frogs Pest Deterrent Pellets? Pest, no, probably not those. We want, oh, oh, no, no! Oh, shoot. Rockstar Freddy's Chill Cooling Chewables for Children. 
this matches the shapes. Yes, these are the proper shapes. So let's take this out. Doop -doop. There you go, bud. Oh, let's take this out. Okay, take this out. Boom, back to you. And the operation was a success. Nailed it. Yay! <laughs> now, give the patient a candy. This candy is legally binding. <laughs> legally binding candy. Oh, I love it. Okay, here, what, do, what would you like, bud? If I were you, I would absolutely go with, oh, oh man, this looks great. Here you go, friend. Oh, I've literally killed him. Next scenario. The patient is suffering Hi. from ball pit accident. Ooh. Great news. Oh, there's people on. Due oh, to no. today's successful salvage, the entertainment value of the pizza place has increased. Entertainment, okay. Great. This ain't, this ain't great. The, the fact that these are opening is reminding me of vent repair from the original one where animatronics start attacking you as you do this. Okay, blue. Nope, 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 nope. Yank, yank it, stop it. Gah, take your medicine. The, my, my gummies are just piling out there, what a waste. Also, by the way, Bucky, Bucket Bob's Itty Bitty Butter Bites. And what's this one? I'm just curious. Mostly magical malaria morsels. Oh, delicious. Wonderful. I love the little things in the world around us. Okay. Scan. 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 Look into the light. No. Hello. Can I can I scan you? Oh, there we go. I gotta scan your leg. Okay. Spray it with disinfectant Marty's tank cleaner. Helpies discount disinfectant, sure. Okay, Band-Aid. These aren't tongue depressors, they're Band-Aids, here you go. The operation was a success. Okay. Yay! Yay! Now, give the patient a candy. Here you go, NDA mints. Don't talk about this. Nice it's a secret to all of us. scenario. Let's get it. The patient is suffering from ball pit accident. To calm a patient, Apply the relaxation mask until the outburst is under control. Be advised, prolonged cries may also attract the attention of free roaming characters. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, holy, what the heck? What the heck? Nope, you shut up. <laughs> you shut up like a good patient. Okay, this is, do I need to cool it? Cool it. Right there, is that what you want? Cool it down here. He needs a bop on the head? No, cool cool him. Okay, we've cooled him. <laughs> just, I, I know I have a hammer in the drawer. The hammer is always an option, Helpy. Just saying. Ooh, you have a pen in your neck? No, I'm supposed to jam a pen in your neck? What? <laughs> that seems like a, an, uh, an improper solution to this problem. Are you kidding me? Ooh, wait, hold up. Do you hear that? There's some sort of talking in the back. There's some sort of weird talking in the background audio. I don't know if that's supposed to be coming from Helpy or what. Are we locked in here now? Was there an exit here at one point? Was there an exit here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And we're gonna hammer him. And we're gonna hammer him. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Here, get ready with the mask just in case. Col Coleman gas. Alright, sure. So, <laughs> just, just say nighty night, Helpy. Say nighty night. Shh. Quiet, my precious prince. Shh, my sweet, sweet prince. Let's quiet down. Okay, so we gotta scan the things that are actually bad in that case. Okay, give a little Brillo pad, a little scrub scrub. A little scrub scrub. The operation was a success. Wonderful. So, Yay. so happy for us. Now, give the patient a candy. This candy is legally binding. All right, tell no one about this. Oh my gosh, learn how to chew your food. Yay. Oh good. Oh, I thought he was going to die again. <laughs> oh, I don't like where that one's headed. I don't want to know where that one's headed. What do we got here? Pig 
patch. All right. A winner is me, I guess. I suppose. Moving on. Whew. All right. I feel it. I, I definitely feel a little bit of the tension. We've got a good thing going. I'm going to do one more of these before we move on to the next. Oh, hey. We could do first aid lefty. First aid lefty. That's interesting. And why is it got, okay, that's two. Or fizzy faz. Fizzy, here, let's try fizzy faz night one. Lucky you, a position recently opened at the Fizzy Faz Bottling Warehouse. Lucky me, I have no doubt that I'm so lucky for this. Make the correct order and send it up to the delivery unit. Use the cameras to see if the staff bots are working. Okay. All right, boop, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Hey, oh, hey. Hello. Oh, hello, hi. You are here. Sign form, start work. <laughs> Sign form, start work. work. Sign form, start work. By signing this waiver, you are agreeing to join the Fazbear Entertainment leadership form, team. Oh, nice. Start work. I will refrain from having opinions and comment. Complaints, good. Sign form. Place profits above personal work. and professional well-being. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and personnel. Place. Oh. Oh. File signature accepted. Oh. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even get the chance. That's amazing. New job. Instruction. Use container. Collect necessary ingredients. Make fizzy fash flavor syrup. Okay. Convenience. Order display shows necessary ingredients. Sugar. Fill ingredients. Okay, sugar. Caffeine is this guy. And acid. Mix to ready. Place in delivery unit. Zip. Press smile button. Place in delivery unit. If error mistake, press trash button. Speak up. Bad ingredients down drain. This is both a waste of company time and money. Be warned. Dumping ingredients may attract unwanted pests. Ooh. Okay. I'm curious what happens if I start dumping ingredients. This one's already pushing me forward. Sugar, sugar, acid. There we go. I have a, I have 17 seconds to look around. So there's a drill. There's a control center. There's a, a really suggestive uh, picture of Roxy, which is alarming on a lot of levels for me. Uh, we've got this guy, which is, I guess, teaching us how to play the game. It looks like, oh, send it, send it, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I've attracted a pest or something. I'm so sorry. I was, I was lazing around. I apologize. It wasn't my fault, I swear. Uh, sugar, caffeine, caffeine, sugar, caffeine, caffeine. Boop. I still got time. Okay, there's a drill. I'm wondering if we're gonna have to play around with this sort of stuff. Here, let's send it on. We'll just keep going as is. What's this? Okay, new order. This one does it. Sugar, sugar, acid. Sugar, sugar, acid. Okay. <laughs> I want that savory. I want that savory one. Okay. So what do I have to do here? So I'm checking on them, making sure they're doing stuff. Okay, so he's doing stuff. Huh, in the trash heap. That's interesting. Sugar, caffeine, caffeine. Sugar, caffeine, caffeine. Great. Anything on the back? Nope. Change this and then pause to pause a worker bot. So I'm wondering if they're gonna like attack me at some point and I have to stop them. Soda Roni. Bonus revenue. Nice. Returned and work. Same time tomorrow. Huh. Okay. That one wasn't too bad. Pretty pretty straightforward, I would say. I'm just gonna loosen this up just slightly because I feel it pinching on the back of my head. There we go. What do we got here? Nice discount ball pit, aka box with balls. Nailed it. Okay, cool. Anything else? We're all good. I like that every, you gotta check every time. Every time. Oh, I didn't call this out earlier when I was looking at this, but I did make a brief passing, passing notice of it, which is the fact that the puppet is the scarecrow. Interesting choice. Not, not exactly sure it means anything. Just calling it out. Uh, anything happening in this overworld yet? Not really. All right, so we've done a couple staff onlys, and I feel good about that. We've done fizzy faz. We've done some of the first aid stuff. Do we do a harder lefty? Let's do something new. Let's do, let's do arts and crafts. That sounds like fun. Get your hands dirty with paints and paper pals in the superstar daycare. Okay. Copy the art, exactly. 
Use the dart gun to shoot objects you need. Sun will toss them to you. Don't run out of time. Sun will be very upset. Great. Well, we don't want to make him upset. We know what happens if we do that. It's bad things. Oh, hey. Oh, my. Whoa. This is huge. Oh, my gosh. This. Welcome to the Superstar I am very alone. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Organic cheap point. It'll be so much fun. What? So let's Okay. Select a brush. Select a brush. Oh, okay. Good job, good job. Thank you. Now that you have a brush, guess what time it is? Oh, do we get to paint? So excited about that. Just follow the happy little numbers. Oh, geez. They make all the hard color choices for you. Okay. When you are done, hit the button, and I can evaluate your work. Oh, great. What are you waiting nope. for? Which one I want? Okay. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, this is fast. Okay. Red and blue. Make purple. Oh, no. Wait, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Purple. Purple. Uh, I need blue. Nope. Blue. Nope. Blue. Wait, uh, that's water. Blue. Oh, jeez. Okay, blue, green, green, and blue and yellow. This is green. <laughs> yellow is body, and red is everything else. Okay. Nope, red. Red is everything else. There. Oh, stars. Stars are orange. Stars. Is that it? That's it? That's it? That's it? What do I gotta do? Done. Did, did I do it? How'd I do? Works on so many <laughs> it just shreds it! <laughs> okay. What's this do? What's this do? What's this do? Oh! Oh, it changes those. Oh. What? Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Wait, what? What do I gotta do? What's this? Eyes? Oh my gosh. Wait. Is that a button? Is this a button? Nope. What? What? What the heck? What was that? What, <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Stop! I don't want that. No thanks. I need a bow tie. Bow tie? Oh, there was a hat. I need a hat. Okay. Hat. Hat. Okay. I need eyes. Nope. Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh no! No! Oh no! I don't like that. That was not okay. No thanks. Retry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do not want. Good friend, you're back. No time to mix words. Good choice. Can I, can I wind this at all? No, I can't. Okay, gun. Robot. Nope, robot. I want robot. Okay. Oh, I need a brush. Okay, I need a brush. Okay, here. Okay, hey. Green. Green is this. Green is this. Uh, blue is ear and center. No! Oh, you fool! Green is this. Yellow is here. And eyes are orange. Oh my gosh, this is, this is so hard. Nope, that's red. That's red. This part's red. Is this everything? Blue, red, green. I think this is good. No, that's orange. Orange! Ugh! Orange, orange. Great. Done. Oh my gosh, that's hard. Works on so many Thank you so much. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for my next death. Okay, creepy mouth, big eyes. Big eyes. Big eye again, I guess. Oh, oh I got a lot of eyes, okay. Just all the eyes, please. Here's this, I need a creepy mouth. Like a, this is a puppy, no? Oh, if I hit that, it's, does that just count as like a, as a missed opportunity there? No, nope, creepy mouth, keep it. Is this not, is this creepy mouth? This counts as creepy mouth. Ears, cat ears, cat ears, or bunny ears, maybe, if that's what these things are. Kind of looks like it. Other one, bunny ear. Great, thank you, bunny ear. And buttons? Buttons. Buttons. Where are the buttons? Button, button, who's got. Those look like buttons, those big things. Oh, wait. No. Oh, shoot. Are those buttons? Nope, that's a bow tie. That's a button. Please let those be buttons. Button. And another button, and another button. Give me another button. Give, give me another button. That looks about right. That's about right. Go. Done.
Done. Nope. Done. 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 Wait. Oh, the legs and the arms. Oh shh. Oh damn it. Oh, this is so hard. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Uh. Uh. Legs and uh, legs. And, no, that's an eye. Give me all these uh, legs, arms, leg. Le damn it. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Okay, another one. Another one. Arms, arms, legs. Okay, eyeball. Give me an eyeball. Eyeball, eyeball, eyeball. Where'd those ears go? Ears, ears, ears. Oh, that's wrong ears. Come on. Ah! Double, double ear. Go. Go, go. There. Done. Did that count? Oh, no. I can't. I can't. Uh, he needs a bear muzzle. Oh, and it's so dark. It is getting so dark. I need a bunch of bear ears and a hat or something. Eyeballs. Sure, give me some eyeballs. Give me eyeballs. It does send it in packs of two. That's good to know. Uh, hat. I need a hat. Uh, I need bear ears. Looking for those bear ears. Nope, that's the wrong thing. That's going to get me jump scared. Come on. Nope, move on. Give me all the ears. I just want all your... Nope. Ear. Ear. Oh, I need a lot of legs. Just give them all. Give, give me. Oh, they all fell off the table. Oh, that just. Oh, they're all. They're all just falling off. There's no world where this is possible. Oh no! I didn't hit done. I didn't hit done. Game. I didn't hit done. Oh my gosh! I did. Okay, just give me all of the legs and arms. Oh boy. Eyeballs, eyeballs, buttons. He needs buttons, sure, I'm sure he does. There's a button. Uh, tie, tie, tie. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I haven't even colored these things. I'm supposed to color them. Can I move the timer back? Can I please get the timer back to restart? Ah, hat. Great, thank you. Uh, that's everything. Now I just need to paint literally the entire thing. Ah, blue. Blue is his muzzle. Uh, green are his eye, eye, ear. Purple is ear, hat, leg. Green is, no, he's not he's missing a leg, damn it. Yellow, 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 red. Come on, we're so close. Ah, uh, I need one more of the little leg things. Oh, come on, where's those leg things? Oh, there's. Okay, there. Leg. Nope. 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 Leg. Leg. Paintbrush. Come back here. What was it? What was the last? It was green. It was green. Why are you taking? So I know. Long? I understand. Uh, this is right. This is right. This is right. Go. Go. Damn it! No. What was wrong with his arm? Like Shoot. Do it again. Oh, come off it. Oh, I hate this so much. This is the. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. What's going on? What happened? What's going on? Why did everything disappear? Oh, come I, I Please just kill me. Put me out of my misery game. This is the worst. Oh, this sucks so badly. Oh, come on. Uh, no, nope, that's the wrong ear. That's the wrong mouth. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, you stupid. With all your legs and your art. There's so much arts and crafts going on. I, I, I was waiting for that one. I'm like, there's no world where I've completed this on time. Okay. <laughs> so I guess on the positive side, I lost my microphone, I think. I guess, I, I think it's down here. I, I feel it somewhere down here. There it is. I found it. I, I knew it fell at my feet. So I guess on the positive side, I learned that that game, you have a little bit more time than the timer leads you to believe. But, uh, yeah, that one's hard. <laughs> All the other ones so far have been very easy. Obviously, they're going to get harder. But that's the basic level of that game. <laughs> and already I'm failing so hard at it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ash, do I have time to try it one last time? One last time, Adam. One last time. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm so tangled. I also feel that my wires are all tangled here. This is between my legs. I don't know what's going on. I can't, Ash, can you help me? Coming. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Ash.
we're gonna come back to that one. I want to try a different game. I need I need a moment. I need a moment to pause and reflect on my life and on my decisions. Maybe I should just go back to staff only because clearly that's the one thing I was good at. Arts and crafts. I mean, to be fair, I've never been good at arts and crafts, so this is just more proof to that. Let's do Ticket Booth Carousel. Enjoy a ride on the classic Fazbear Antique Carousel. May require technical support. Oh boy. All right. Carousel's broken. Fix it. Fix all the broken fuses, then replace any broken switches and turn on the power. S fuses, switches, power. Repair the circuit board. Don't forget to solder in new wires with the soldering gun. Repair it, okay. I think, so it looks like it's gonna be like a pipe maze or a tube maze kind of game, okay. Attention, this carousel is out of service and will require repairs before we open tomorrow. This is- That is the end of my instructions. Programmed with the knowledge to fix it, it would have already been done. Ooh. Okay, so there's the carousel. Oh wow, that is horrific. Absolutely horrific. So we got sun and moon. Interesting. Huh. Funtime Foxy. Bonnie. So if if this whole thing is kind of tied, again, let's talk about brief lore before I start this thing, which might mean I end up dying, but so be it. But real quick, one thing that's worth calling out here is this is telling us a timeline. If Funtime Foxy and the original core four animatronics, Bonnie, Freddy, Foxy, Chica are here, and this is themed around this, which is 1983, Fall Fest 1983, it tells us, oh, and there's Balloon Boy too, it tells us that these characters were contemporaries of each other, right? They were all here, active together at the same time. So that would mean that Sister Location and the FNAF 1 stuff were all present at the same time. And in 1983 specifically, for the, for the era of the bite of 83. So it shows you that, hey, if Fall Fest was 1983 based on Help Wanted, Help Wanted 1, the fact that Funtime Foxy's here sh says that Circus Baby's Pizza World or circus, ba so circus Babies in some capacity exists at this time, but also the original Freddy's exist. So really, it's almost like a tale of three franchises all going at the same time. You have Fred Bear's Family Diner with the bite of 83, because that's still, this is the year that that's happening. But also it says that, hey, there's a Fazbear Entertainment or a Fazbear, uh, uh, you know, a Freddy Fazbear's with the core four, Freddy, Fa Freddy Foxy, Bonnie Chica. But also, also, there's another location, a spinoff, that is Circus Babies with, with the, the pink and white animatronics. So there's like three, I don't think anyone's ever assumed that all three things were active at the same time because we like to think of things as a timeline. And I pitched out in a past theory that, hey, some of them might've been released at the same time or you know maybe Circus Babies and Freddy, or I think I said at one point, uh, Fred Bears and Freddy's were parallel. I never thought Sister, sister Location, I never thought Circus Babies was there at the same time. So that's, Interesting. That seems important from a timeline standpoint. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's attacking me just yet, thank goodness. So let's do this. So I'm supposed to, obviously this is, this makes total sense. Take this out. The merry-go-round broke down. I don't love that. I don't love that sound. I don't love that sound. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Great. Oh, they're really leaning hard into our dear friend. So you're telling me, you're teaching me this mechanic, right? That he's gonna attack me while I do this? Is that what you're teaching me at this moment? That I need to watch out for him? Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, great. Not great. Not great. Oh, hey. Hey, bud. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, this is not fun. They're, it's interesting, they are leaning hard into Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon has become a very important character all of a sudden. For, oh, hello. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, man, I'm getting, oh, hey. Oh, cool. Okay, he's gone now. Did that defeat him? It's past your bedtime. Oh, okay. Don't love that. Don't love that. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm hoping that's the only one. Okay, what do I gotta do with this? 
Switches. Switches get stitches. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. There. Okay. Find him. Find him. Find him. Find him. Great. Okay, he's delayed. Uh-huh. Wait, I hear why do I hear someone close to me? Why do I hear someone close to me? Why are you back? I just got rid of someone. What's going on? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I heard you. I heard you laughing ominously in my ear. I heard you laugh. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. <laughs> why, are, why are you not active? Why, why can you not do this? Uh-huh. Uh, where are you at? Get out of here. Why? Oh, oh, I gotta take these things out. Okay. Yeah. Why did you you come back fast? Okay, get over. Get there. There, this is round two. Yeah, this is giving me like project playtime vibes. Actually, this this mini game. Huh? That's interesting. He just said, "What makes you so special?" Which? Oh shoot! Oh no! He to the next tier or something. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where is he? I saw him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, good. He says, what makes you so special? Okay, what do we gotta do here? This is... Anything on back? No. Okay, hold up. Oh, jeez. Where are you? I know I've wasted too much time already. Oh, come on. You are everywhere, man. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nope. Oh, he just moved on to the next tier. Not good. He's definitely close to me now. Okay, there he is. Okay, good. Okay, so we need to do something with this. Okay. Oh, I lost. I lost my headphone. No, I lost my headphone. There we go. Okay. I think I figured it out though. I'm just gonna look for him because I'm assuming. Come on. Oh, there he is. No. Oh, you jerk. I know I lost my, I lost it. It's okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay, so, uh, this goes on top. Here? No, I gotta take this out first. Take this out, put this on. Then I gotta, I gotta, I gotta release it off. It's past your Got it. Right? Oh, this game is gonna be terrible for the mic. Just so you know. Cause I am just spinning constantly. There, can I? Oh, I got solder it with the soldering gun. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Nope. I want this. Nope. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! No! Touching me! I have to put it back no! on! You're moving around too much! <laughs> Matt, 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 I'm gonna touch your arm. Three, two. No! Vicinity. That sounds okay. great. Okay. okay, there. Oh, oh, and I gotta do the yellow. Okay, yellow, yellow, solder. So, okay, nope, not gonna happen. Not, no, oh, come on! Solder. Okay, now we're figuring it out. Solder. Okay, I gotta. What do I gotta solder? What am I. Okay, there, 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 there. Button. Did that win? Did that win? Are you done? Are we done here? Time until reset. Oh, you, screw you, game. Screw you, this is done. I did it. I did the, oh God, it's sparking. Stop it. No, this is not okay. Where is he? There he is. Go, 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 go. No, you jerk. I had you. Oh, it's burning. Why is it burning? Why is it? Good, got him, got him back. Why are, what's on fire, the fall fest? Is it, that's not a pizza real burning. Oh, did you go, and we're just standing here burning? Is this symbolic of, he said I'm special. Why are you so special? So is this symbolic of one of the characters that we know? Why he said, what makes you so special? Is this symbolic of me burning? It's like, am I, who am I, who am I? That's the question. That's the theory, ladies and gentlemen. Who am I? And that was hallucinating.
<laughs> oh no! Carousel toy! Can I? Also, I, I don't know you're there. I have no clue. I didn't realize you were gonna reach out that far. Hey, the carousel toy's over there. Okay, can I can I put this back on you now? Oh, okay. Mystic Hippo's active. Hold up. Can I pick? I don't know what. Huh? Okay. Here. Can I do this? I do. Choose? I'm gonna choose. Do you ever look at your hands? I mean, Queen eight. What do you want me to do? Wait, what do you want me to do? The cards are down there. I mean, they are. So, what do you want me to do? I choose one? The crystal sense. Queen, Ace, King. Joker? Huh. That's telling me something. It's a code. It's a code to somewhere in here, isn't it? Oh! I'm wondering if at some point I might have to go. So it's telling me a sequence. It's telling me a five, a five digit code. And I'm wondering if at later in the game I'm gonna have to activate these guys in that order. I wonder. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, hey, hi, everyone. Hello. Sorry, Ash, that I, like, punched you, screamed in your face, and and died a little bit inside. I'm sorry that I scared you so bad. I didn't expect... It was it was very frightening in that I, moment. I just... I didn't want you to step on your mic, and then the audio would be bad, and so I had to, like, follow you a little bit. It was weird. It was weird. I understand. The weird things happen when you're in VR. Immediate feedback as we wrap this one up, because I think we're at time, yeah? Yeah, we're at time. Okay. The, this, I mean, it's great. Like, I, I think Steel Wool, this is, this is the, for, like, Security Breach Ruin, good. You know, very good. Uh, Ruin. Security Breach, eh. Ruin, very good. But this, it, it feels different. It feels higher caliber. It feels, and not just, like, oh, relative to those games, but, like, relative to, like, VR. Like, this uses VR very well. You know, we've beaten three of the basic games. We've done four. And already you can tell that there's so much lore hidden in all the nooks and crannies of this thing already. Who are we? You know, Eclipse keeps saying, like, what, who, what makes you so special? What makes you so special? As the carousel burns around us, as we see, like, visions of the carousel burning, right? We see a, a, this repeated motif of fires, right? Of, of things burning. You know, we saw it with the, the Helpy minigame. And so... Immediately, you see the connection that this game has with what appears to be both the beginning and, you know, the beginning of the franchise with 1983, all these references to the Fall Fest 1983, but also a lot of stuff towards, like, FNAF 6. You know, there's a lot of FNAF 6, but now we're moving into Sister Location. It, this is a game, I suspect, is going to answer a lot of questions. I already see them hinting at what the, some of the answers might be, which is exciting. But where they're going to go with it, or if they're just going to, like, throw a bunch of, like, it looks like we're going to answer things, but here's just more questions. I don't know. It remains to be seen. But I'm really curious and really excited about where it goes from here. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap it here. Uh, we're going to have an, uh, another upload tomorrow. I know we're uploading this on Thursday, so that's an unusual day for us. Uh, but we're also uploading this uh, part two tomorrow um, to try and get uh, this out before, some of this, some more out before the weekend. And then uh, hopefully next week we'll have a good mix of FNAF and then some other stuff. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, Steel Wolf, for, for uh, putting this together and, and working to keep this franchise uh, strong. And I am very curious and eager and a little bit frightened about what you have in store, as you can tell. It's a scary game. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!